Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's Son channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you and I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. Glory above Father. Child of God, they made a mistake. They made a mistake. The Lord is making somebody so strong. You know, the, the way that you were underestimated <laughs> is making you to find more about yourself. Find out more about yourself. You know, when we don't set our mind to achieve some things, we will not even imagine, we will not know how much we can achieve. God is saying that they made a mistake, you know, <laughs> underestimated you, thinking that you were weak. You were weak. You know, I just thank God <laughs> because God is not a man, I must tell you. God is not a man. Mm. I must tell you, child of God. If God were to be a man, somebody like me and you we will not go anywhere. We will not amount to anything at all. <laughs> You see the way I, I add myself so that somebody will not say it's not me that will not amount to somebody. If God were to be were to be a man, I am telling you, somebody like me and you will not have mouth to say anything. They thought you were weak, but that weakness that they thought you were, that weak, that like that thing that, they, that that make them feel like, okay, you were weak, is making you to find yourself and you are becoming so strong. The Bible says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. It says, finally, my brethren, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Ha! And he said, put on the whole armor of God. Anyone that can put on the whole armor of God will be able to withstand. Will be able to withstand whatsoever the enemy is trying to do. Whatsoever the enemy is saying concerning them whatsoever life is bringing to their table they will be able to decide what stay in their table and what does not stay in their table some persons allowed everything on their table they allowed everything any kind of rubbish can come and stay in their table they don't care they don't care let everything stay in there they don't even give it them but for you that is strong in the Lord, you know what's to allow in your table. That weakness that they call you, you did not allow it in your table. You turn it to strength. People made a mistake because they think that somebody is vulnerable. Oh, because somebody is calm. <laughs> because somebody is quiet. Oh, because somebody is forgiving, is understanding. They will always underestimate such people. They always underestimate such people. Child of God, that weakness that they thought you have is bringing out a great strength in your life. A great strength. Because the word of God has been your pillar. That you cannot rest your back and you cannot laugh. You know, sometimes you just have to look at whatever... The enemy is doing, you just fold your hands, you just laugh. 
I don't know if that happens to you. Sometimes that happens to me as well. It happens to me a lot. Instead of me to be praying against the thing, fire, Holy Ghost, uh, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, I just look at it and I just laugh. And somebody like, why are you laughing? Because I know. I said, well, we have seen this before. We have seen this before and God did not fail us. He will not fail us now. And uh, uh, you are laughing. Look at the situation of grand. Yes. I have to laugh because they want me to cry. I know I said, no, I can't cry. The only cry I will share is when I'm worshiping the Lord. Yes, in worshiping God and the tears of joy. I cannot come and be crying for the enemy. The enemy is mad. If you see me cry in prayer is when I'm spiritually soaked. In appreciating Lord and asking God for mercy and pleading with the Lord. Not, I am not crying for which. Who is a witch? Are they crazy? They made a mistake. Underestimating you. Thinking that you were weak. Child of God, I need to talk to you. When you finally find your strength. To overcome. The things that people make call weak in your life. Never allow them to come back again. To come and remind you of what you have overcome. That they are coming back. Never allow any one in back into your life that will come and tell you that ah you just overcome this addiction ah we have given you four months you are coming back never allow such people if they are not coming to come and celebrate with you to keep encouraging you to be sober so that you will not find yourself in that situation again let them stay where they are it is not hatred it is not hatred it is not evil it is not because you don't love when you find strength to overcome weaknesses in your life, the thing that make people to underestimate you, <laughs> when you find strength in the Lord to overcome them, don't allow anyone that will come and tell you that, how did you manage to overcome this thing? We don't trust you. We are giving you two weeks. You will go back. Such people, they are not meant to be around you. That is, they are doubting. They are doubting you. Why? Because they don't even have faith in you that somebody like you can leave those things. You see some people coming to tell somebody, Ah, you said you are not drinking again. Ha! You that we know. Ha ha! We are giving you two weeks to see if you if you be true. We know the wine that you like. Tomorrow they will bring the wine to your house. They will call you, and sister, come, let's come and pause this wine. They will bring their drink. They know the particular drink that, the drink that you cannot do without them. Whenever you see it, you will want to take it. <laughs> now you are like, okay, I don't want to take it again. Ah, we are giving you three days. And you will not see somebody who have never bought you a drink will not go out and buy that same drink for you. Because temptation, they want to see, they don't want you to stand and overcome anything at all. If you find such people in your life, when you are able to get up and say, I need to do something for myself. You get up today and somebody is coming to tell you, ah, you get up, you went to do something for yourself. What do you mean? You are doing something for yourself. What is this that you are doing? You said, yes, I want to do something. They say, you, it's not possible. We know you. Tomorrow, you will not do anything. That tomorrow they come, they want to hold you down so that you will not do anything. Such people who are not positive, when you are making a positive change in your life, don't let them in when you are able to overcome the weakness that they are using against you. They made a mistake thinking that you cannot overcome that weakness. But the strength of the Lord is made perfect. For anyone that asks the Lord for strength, he will give. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong. When you tell the Lord, Lord, finally, I want to be strong, but I don't know how to be strong. He will make you strong. Don't you know? <laughs> yes, you can pray like that. Lord, I want to pray, but I don't know how to pray. Lord, I want to know you. I want to encounter you, but I don't even know how. He's a God that brings direction. He will bring direction. He will come and save us. <laughs> Hallelujah. They made a mistake, child of God. They thought you were weak, but God has been your pillar and your strength. 
It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.